Hey what's going on guys, Signal here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make the effect that you have just seen on screen. Uh, as you can see right here, I have already imported my music and my sound effect and I have synced them both. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is just make a new video track and drag in your ident. Uh, I'm going to be using this one for this video, it's going to be looking sort of like that. Uh, so I'm going to open properties media and obviously set that to man undefined. Uh, now what you need to do is you go ahead and go into video effects tab and search for Twixter Pro. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Then what we need to do is just drag that on there and set the speed percentage to 20. And after that, just go ahead and go to where the ident just sort of starts going away. If this is a fade in, you know, it's a fade in or if it's just like an animation, you know, you'll, there, you'll find a way. Uh, next, just go to where the ident is gone and set the Twixter to 100. And there you go, you get this cool sort of slow-mo effect at the start. I'm always going to have to drag out my, uh, what's it called, uh, my audio right here because it is a bit, uh, you know, not synced at all. So uh, next, just go ahead and resync your music because it's going to offset it by quite a bit. So just go ahead and resync that. And uh, now what we need to do is render this entire thing out, unfortunately. So just go ahead and select all of this uh, and just render it out. Uh, that way, the ident and the backing track will be on the same sort of thing. Uh, it's easier to explain once it's done, uh, but just go and render it out. And uh, I've already done that for me, so I have this part right here. And obviously, it's slow at the start, and then it just sort of starts coming back. Uh, now what we need to do is go into our video effects tab and search for VHS. I'm going to drag this preset on here. The, this preset will be in the description. Uh, it'll be both as an XML file and as a preset manager preset. So you will very easily be able uh, to just apply this to your track. Uh, now what we need to do is just go to where the ident just starts going away. We keyframe the blend with original and we add a keyframe here. Uh, just delete the first one. Don't really need it. And next, just go to roughly a bit further out. You don't really want it to just instantly stop having VHS. So I'm going to go a bit further out and uh, we're going to play this back and let's see how it's looking. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and split this because we do not really need it. Uh, but now what I'm going to do is show you guys the impact that I've used for the intro. So I'm going to apply velocity. Uh, I'm going to go to the impact. I'm going to go six frames back. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, double click here. Set this to a slow fade. Set the impact to 300. Three frames forward. One, two, three. Double click here. Set this to 50. And set that to a fast fade. Next, we're going to split it right there. And you're going to apply the preset that is in the description. It's going to be called like a Dignal Nice Glow, whatever. And we just apply that. And after everything is done and ready to go, you'll you'll get this. Is <laughs> Don't chase the business, chase the there we go. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like down below, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. And I'll see you guys in a couple days and peace.